Hello everybody, uh, Dane here, and today I have a very exciting video because I have some of my DNA results back from my heritage DNA. So my mum and my granddad and my uncle have all had theirs done, and my granddad paid for me to get it done. I don't know whether my full DNA sequence has been sorted yet. Let's have a look, what we got? People I match, we don't need that. Um, my DNA results are not ready yet, but my health DNA results were ready though. Dane reads. Yes, I am ready to see my genetic risk reports. Do I want to include genetic risk reports for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? It does say including those who experience anxiety or depression may prefer not to see them. So maybe let's not see them for now. We can always change it later. Health reports. I have an increased risk of developing age-related macular degeneration. So I might not be able to see very well when I'm old. Average risk of the following 19. COPD, arterial fibrillation, chronic kidney disease. Oops. I have a significantly decreased risk of developing celiac. Now that's very interesting because this is one of the things that I've been tested for. So my dad has celiac disease, so that's interesting. It's got other risk factors. Genetic risk is the main one. So I have neither of these variants. <laughs> One's 82% frequent in Europeans and the other's about 80%. That's really interesting. Hmm, okay. And then I've got regular risk of type 2 diabetes, prostate cancer, osteoporosis, obesity and high BMI, high blood pressure, heart disease. Crohn's disease is one that it's thought that it's been thought that I might have. And actually that's mostly lifestyle. Okay. Well maybe we should look at Oh, what have we got under carrier status? Oh, so whether my child might get stuff. I'm likely not a carrier of things. Yeah. All right, so how do we see Alzheimer's and fucking... I don't know if I actually do want to see this, but I probably should, seeing as I paid for it. Okay, introduction, yes. How do I... Well, where's it got Alzheimer's? Oh, late onset Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. I got average risk. That's really interesting. Very interesting indeed. So this is only the baseline stuff. Um, there's going to be my full DNA coming soon where we'll be able to see um, like my, um, what's it called? Like the um, genetic makeup in terms of where I'm from. So I think, because I think my mum is only like 70% European or something according to hers. So that will be interesting to see. But yes. I mean, I'm not sure whether that was worth the 50 quid, to be honest. Because basically, it didn't really find anything except I'm more likely to have age-related macular de degeneration and I'm less likely to have celiac disease. And then the rest is all just average. But for someone like me with pretty severe anxiety, it is quite nice to know that I'm not a like super high risk of Alzheimer's or anything like that. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, it probably was worth doing just in my own in my own case. So yeah, I'm gonna share that. Cool. All right, and I'll be back soon at some time in the future to to reveal like the rest of my DNA stuff. Hello. It's time to get the rest of those DNA results. So I'm just gonna load up me app. Okay, this is you, Dane Cobain. This is you. Overview. Interesting. 74.3% North and West European, 24.7% Scandinavian, 1% Baltic. It's so 24% Scandinavian. I'm a quarter Danish, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Currently have, I can see my DNA matches. View DNA matches. Um, I'll look at that in a minute and the full estimate. Let's keep going down here. Where my DNA matches live. Most of them in the USA, UK, Australia. And we've got Germany, Canada, France. Interesting. That's cool. 1% Baltic. I'm 0% English. Okay. Genetic groups. England, Southern USA. And England, East Midlands. Well, I'm from the West Midlands, but close enough. Okay. 
So the North and West European mainly includes German, French and Dutch people. That's really interesting. Okay, Scandinavian. So show all available regions. North and West European, yeah. Oh, here's the cat. Scandinavian, Baltic. I can't believe, so I'm 0% English. That doesn't seem right, does it, right? Biggie. Biggie, I'm trying to shoot a video and you're right in the way. Come here, look. We've done your DNA test. It's my turn now. Come on, out of the way. You're right in the way. Come on. I can't see you're in the way of the screen. He's not in the way of the camera. He's in the way. To... Come on. Thank you. All right. So let's have a look here. I mean, so I have 253 English genetic groups. Is that a lot? I mean, I have 147 Nigerian. How odd that I'm ma majority North and West European. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, so that was the ethnicity estimate. We can look at the DNA matches. Yeah, I don't know who any of these are. Okay, what if we go into relationships, close family? Yeah, those are the only two. Well, yeah, I know who those are though, don't I? Extended family, who, who we got here? First cousin twice rem I don't know who that is. View tree, can I do that? No, I'd have to upgrade. Okay, I think that's about all there is for me to see. I've got some DNA tools and stuff. I'd need to, um, I'd need to pay to get access to those though, which I don't want to do. And I've also already paid as well. Well, that's really interesting, okay. That's very strange, so I've got here, this is my mum's DNA here. So she was 42.8% English, I'm 0% English. She's 24.4% North and West European, I'm like 75%. And then she had some East European, some Scandinavian, which I've also got, and some Balkan. So the only way I can really make sense of this, if I got all of her North and West European DNA and all of her Scandinavian DNA, um, none of her English, or a very tiny bit of her English, and then my dad must be pretty much entirely North and West European and Scandinavian, which doesn't make sense, because as far as I know, my ancestors are English. But, I don't know, that's kind of cool. North and West European, I mean, I guess maybe it just can't tell that part of that is England, but it's just weird that it's broken that down for my mum and said that it knows that she's English, you know? So yeah, very, very interesting though, that's quite cool. And that is the end of the video. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know your ethnicity. Apparently, there's a good reason why I've been learning French and German, apparently, because I am French and German, more so than I'm English. Um, and a little bit Scandinavian, so maybe I should learn to speak some Danish. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.